We've had a lot of people asking about number 17, the fire bus. Uh, this is a bus that we bought with two other buses, uh, both of which are now sold. Uh, and we were driving back from uh, about 100 miles east of San Diego, coming on the 8, heading toward the, uh, coming toward the, toward uh, San Diego. And um, all the buses had been stored for years in a field out in the country. They all had rat's nests all over. And we thought we got them all out, but this one had a rat's nest apparently left. Caught fire, the fire uh, melted the fuel line between the two fuel pumps, and it started feeding the fire with fuel and got a pretty good fire going. Uh, the, the driver did not know that it was on fire. It was still running. Uh, however, we pulled, she pulled into the, um, to the uh, immigration station and they came running out and told her the bus was on fire. And it was, it was, so he did, it burned quite a while before they finally got put out. Uh, here on this side is where the radiator would go, except the radiator was melted, so it's out. You can see there wasn't much fire damage on this side. Thank goodness. Um, here's the motor. And the motor basically on this side didn't have much happen to it, except that you can see the wiring's all uh, kind of melted. It got hot, but it didn't really burn. Um, so, uh, that, so this side's not so bad. The airbags and all that are fine. Uh, back here, there was really no fire. You can see a little bit of um, see a little bit of uh, darkness on there, but from the heat. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, I believe it's a rear airbag bus. It's an 86, I believe. The only real rust on the bus is right there. This thing is just about rust free, but it's an Antelope Valley bus from the desert. And they don't really have much rain, certainly no snow, where in Antelope Valley, and not at least not where this bus went. Um, so uh, body's pretty straight. Here's the only real body damage on the bus right here. Uh, yeah, we borrowed a couple of wheels off it, but that won't last forever. Here you can see the uh, Apple Valley. Oh, nice thumb in the picture. See the Apple Valley sign. Um, here's the side that really burnt. We have the cover off now. And this side, you can see everything's pretty well fried. Uh, we put a new fuse in, the fuse was melted. Uh, everything's pretty well gone. The alternator was fried. The belts were all fried. The little fuel lines were fried. The uh, fuel filters are all out now. Pretty much everything's been stripped out of here now. And, uh, but the motor itself, I think is gonna be okay. The blower seals were damaged uh, by the heat. I can tell it got pretty hot here. However, it didn't carry forward into the uh, luggage compartment at all. The interior of the bus, they had to hack up the floor a little bit because they wanted to make sure it wasn't on fire. But for the most part, the inside of the bus isn't really damaged. Uh, we got a few seats out. You can see where they took a little bit of the floor out. Some of that's the engine cover that we removed, of course. And some of that's actually floor that got hacked out by the fireman. Nice uh, roof, uh, some decent upholstery in some of the, most of the seats. And um, the driver's seat ha is, an, is a uh, fairly comfortable seat. It's a, still has the big gauges, which I like better than the small ones. Shows 383,000 miles, probably about right. It's a 10 speed, ladies and gentlemen, 671 10 speed. And when it was running, it was a good one until it got hot. Um, everything's pretty much all here. Didn't even smell like a fire inside the bus. Still got the remainder of the radio here. Oh, and a Kleenex box. My goodness, what a joy. Um, the uh, top of the motor. Um, you can see where we had the blower off. Top of the motor, uh, the, the wiring and the, the airlines are all shot. The wiring on the top of the motor seems to be pretty good still. Um, it's remarkable how well the bus protected itself from the fire spreading because it was a pretty good sized fire. I was there. We, we blocked off the I-8 for over two hours. So you don't forget those events, I guarantee it. Anyway, um, the old girl's definitely uh, coming, back to good, come, coming back to life. And uh, she's got somebody waiting for her. A few, a few windows missing. These, uh, all of these buses we bought had windows missing. We take care of all that with the parts bus. Um, but uh, this old girl is going to go back on the road. She's going to be a fine runner and a fine driver. And she's going to have years and years of fun. But anyway, so that's the fire bus, number uh, 71. Or is it 17? I forgot the number. Let's find out. I think it's 17. I'd call that a 17, yeah. Nice straight body. Hey there, hey buddy. Nice dog.
and you look down the side, well, you can't see with all the things open, but it's actually a pretty straight bus. Glass is uh, all good, except for a couple of items. A little bit of rust up there at the top, very little. That's a steel panel right up there with, by the word bus under the left uh, crossover line. A little bit of rust along the top there. Nothing massive. Bumpers are good, just need painting. Tires, uh, we have to replace some tires. Um, she's going to be a fine bus, and she's a tandem, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any better than that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.